Yeah, they are. And look, the city, what they're trying to do here, as we know, San Diego, no stranger to those who are seeking to live in the United States of America. We have a large immigrant and refugee community. And so they've got a lot of empty jobs and they want to fill those with those who maybe have had a hard time trying to find work for a variety of different reasons because of their journey. And so not only are they, again, offering some of these jobs, which aren't just entry level, by the way, we'll get to that in a little bit, but also offering some career building skills and some help that otherwise maybe they wouldn't have access to. So at this job fair right now, they actually have different interpreters and, and languages. Uh, they have six languages available here. Um, representatives also, as I pointed out, from si different city departments that are hiring entry level, but also managerial jobs too, supervisor jobs from Parks and Rec, library even, and the Office of Child and Youth Services. And it's not just about finding that job, but also resume help and also trying to help these people get there. Maybe if they have a foreign degree, get it accredited here in the U.S., which can be a pretty daunting process. We spoke with the city's Office of Immigrant Affairs, who told us that this is going to help not only these folks, but also the San Diegans who, again, have seen that there are several jobs, several services that aren't necessarily as quick or maybe getting as filled up as, as possible because they were just missing people uh, from those roles. Uh, and having the, the career, being able to have access to that is something that can provide uh, an individual a, a much better, a better road, better trajectory in their life. And, and we're excited that we're being able to, to have access to that, be a part of that, uh, be a part of their journey. And we know it won't end here. And so it should be pointed out as well, too, that, that what we see going on right now at our border, a, a huge increase in migrants who could potentially be in this same spot in the future. Now, should point out this was something that was planned in February before this recent spike in migrant and uh, uh, migrants showing up to the border and seeking asylum. But to give more context, though, for the average person seeking asylum, it takes roughly 180 days before they can legally work in the U.S. So, yes, it would have to take a future job fair like this to happen for those that are currently uh, going through that process right now. But I think it also just sort of puts everything into context here with how hard it is to find a job. In fact, speaking uh, with the office and with the city staff here, they told us in their interactions with those who are part of the refugee community and so forth, they want to work right away. They're just frustrated with how long it can take sometimes for each individual case. Eric Anetta.